In Excel pivot tables, getting percent of totals is pretty easy, including percent of parent total. But in Power BI, there is a UI way and a formula way, and I'm going to show you both, including how to get percent of parent total, which is quite interesting. My name is Dave Ben I'm, and I have tons of videos on Excel, Power BI, PowerPoint, Google Sheets, Zoom, Teams. If you're using Tech Other Workplace, I'm covering on my channel. I love talking about the new stuff, and I love talking about the rarely news features. So let's get going. So here I'm in Power BI with a matrix that has dynasty, gender, and years on the throne. This is for English monarchs. And what I'm going to do is make it a percent of total. So I can click on this and I can go to show value as, and I get percent of grand total, which does that. Or I can also do percent of row or column total as well. And if I want to get rid of the decimal places, as I usually do, if I search for decimal, then I can choose this to be zero. Perfect. So when we do it in DAX, we're going to have to divide a numerator by a denominator. The numerator is easy, it's just this. The denominator is going to be this one, but without any filters, i.e. this one that makes 100%. So we're going to work out how to do the denominator because that's the hard bit. I'm going to go to new measure and I'm going to do the denominator for start. So I'm going to say equals calculate. And it's going to be the same measure, so years on throne. Notice you need that, which is the measure, otherwise it won't fit in your calculate, and it goes purple. And then where the filter is, and this is where we're going to say all of the table, which is going to be, in this case, just the English monarchs table, and we're going to say the entire table. And then I close my brackets for the all function, close my brackets for that, give my measure a name, which is years no filter. Press enter, and then I get this. And if I drag that in here, it's going to be a specific number. And if I drag that next to this, it's going to be the same number. But if I add in a dimension, i.e. this one, it is going to change for the latter, but not for the former, because it's not going to take any filters. So if I divide this by this, I should be able to get that number. So let's work on that, which is our next measure. So I'm going to copy and paste this because Often you don't need this as a measure in itself. So control C for copy, new measure. I'm going to say percent total years equals divide. Much better to use this than use the slash because this will not give you an error if it is an infinity number. And the numerator is going to be years on throne. And then comma denominator is going to be paste, which is what we just worked out. Close your brackets a third time for the divide function. Press enter. Now, when I do these, I multiply them by 100 because that way I don't need to change my number formats and it still looks kind of okay alongside other things. But I do like to do zero decimal places always. There we go. And now I have my percent of total years. That's just my preference. If you like having your percent symbol, you can do that as well. You don't have to do multiply by 100. But where this gets tricky is if I have some filters. So say, for example, I'm going to add gender as a slicer. And now I'm going to click on that. And now it's going to add up to 16. It's not going to add up to the total one. And that we know is because over here, all of these add up to 16%. So how are we going to fix that so it can work with filters? Well, we're going to change the logic a little bit. So I'm going to do a new measure. I'm going to do percent years with filters equals divide. And again, I'm going to do years on throne, divide that by control V. But instead of all, I'm just going to change this very simply to all selected. All selected will do the same as all. It will ignore filters that might have been applied inside the query, but keeping filters that come from outside. So this is a slicer or the filters pane or clicking on something here, these will still work. And then I will sort of close my brackets again, multiplied by 100 again, and let's do that and add it and see if it works. So I'm going to drag that in here and make that bigger. And now if I click on that, it will show me a percent of the 100 rather than this one. So here we are in a new page, and now we're going to go with percent of parent total, which is not as straightforward as the other two, but takes a lot of the same ideas. So I'm going to add dynasty and then monarch, and then make that into a matrix, and then add in years on throne, 
years percent and with filters. And all of these are going to be in rows like that. So here we can see them. And what we're going to do is we're going to have these sub ones add up to the final one, but we're going to have these sub ones adding up to 100% and then this one adding to 100% as well. So to do that, we're going to first create a new measure. Percent of total sub category equals divide years on throne by calculate years on throne where all and now we're going to actually choose a column. So the all function can take either no arguments or the table name or a column name. And you can even add multiple columns by using a comma. In this case, we're just going to have one. So we're going to close our brackets there and there and multiply by 100 as we've always done. And as you can see, this will work out the subcategory, but not the head category. So each subgroup adds up to 100%. So here is Elizabeth, for example, adds up to 100%. Now what we're going to do is we're going to use an if statement and say either choose this one or choose this one depending on what you're doing. So to do that, I'm going to press a new measure again. I'm going to do percent of parent total equals if has one value and then specify monarch. So the column that I'm checking is this one. So has one value is a very simple function. It only allows one input, which is a column name. And we're just going to test whether it has one value. So in the case of Windsor, in this row, there are multiple values. In the case of Charles III, there is one value. In the case of the head categories, there are multiple values. In the case of the subcategories, there are just one. Now, the exception could be when there is just one in each subcategory. So if has one value is there, then return the percent of total subcategory. Otherwise, return the filter percent years with filters, close our brackets, and then multiply, and then don't need to multiply by 100 because they're all already multiplied by 100. And then let's check that. So here we can see, yep, works this way and works on the top one here as well. Now we do have one exception, which is this. Now to fix this, we can actually just switch from if has one value to is filtered. Is filtered will again take one column name and it will return yes or no, depending on that. So here it will just return that. So this is probably a better way to do is filtered, but uh, both of them will work. Note that we did need to specify subcategory needs to be monarch. If you have another subcategory, then you would need to do a different one, or you could have more than just one column in the all function. Great. I hope you liked that video. If you did, my name is Dave and I'm, and I have tons of videos on Power BI, Excel, PowerPoint, Zoom, Teams. If you're using tech in the workplace, I'm covering on my channel. I love talking about the new stuff and the rarely used features. So this, give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.